What's up, YouTubies? I'm Corzy from Gaming Legit, bringing you a COD 6 video under demand. You guys are asking me to do COD 6 videos. Check it out. Here's my new layout. Messed around with the text. Texturize. Modern Warfare 2, Mercenary Team Deathmatch. Map is Quarry. Main strat. Play slow. Don't trust your teammates. Pray. I highly recommend you play, uh, pray before you play this game. And the last strat, uh, don't take the game too seriously. And if you guys love COD 6, you're probably going to hate me during this commentary because uh, I'm just going to be basically talking mad shit on this game. Uh, I'm just getting sick of this game. And just a little heads up for you COD 6 lovers and crazers and people that don't acknowledge any other first person shooter other than the COD 6 games. If you're one of my subscribers, I'm sorry, but I'm probably going to be pushing away from COD 6 and directing my focus to BC2 and Halo 3, and this is just kind of a heads-up video. I'm not even going to be uh, talking too much about my gameplay on this, because, let's face it, guys, this game isn't really, like, a highly strategized game. The community's pretty much pushed away from it. Uh -huh, check it out. Check it out my creative class that says Vagina. You guys read that? V-A-G-I-N-A. Vagina. Because, you know, the game's a big vagina. Okay, I continue on my rant. So, COD 6, uh, before you COD 6 crazies just start going ape shit on me with your hate comments. The game is really cool. It's really fun to play, but coming from a competitive, uh, competitive gamer and someone that plays a variety of first person shooters and those that are competitive gamers, uh, I'll preface by saying COD 4, absolutely love that game. It was an awesome game. Other than Halo 3, that was like, you know, 80% of my online focus was COD 4. It was such a nice, well-rounded game. The community was awesome. People people seemed to know how to play that. Then this game came out, and like, they tried to widen their horizons with putting all these extra, you know, tr trinkets into it with like their kill streaks and death streaks and stupid uh, perks totally ruined the game for a competitive gamer. I'm going to give you the reasons why. First of all, right there, getting killed like that, that is totally COD 6. If you want to be successful in COD 6, sorry, not COD 6, I'm going to get, like, shit storming people being pissed at me for that, too. Modern Warfare 2, but uh, this game is a Call of Duty franchise, and this is the 6-1, so COD 6 isn't exactly a, a bad call-up for the game. It's actually pretty accurate, but people that play this game, it's called Modern Warfare 2, damn it! Don't call it COD 6, you freaking noob. So sorry, guys. It's MW2. That's a better acronym for this game. Apparently. Yeah, so if you want to be successful in this game, it pretty much breaks down to see them before they see you and pull the trigger before they pull the trigger. And you will win. That's all there is to this game. Like, seriously, there's nothing else to this game. Uh, unless, you know, some of the crazy magic bolts that happens like 80, you know, 90% of this game and... If you play this game, you know what the magic bullets are. The magic bullets are like when you completely get around a corner and you die and the kill cam shows them shooting where you were and you die. Yeah, that kind of shit just riddles this game. So, back to the competitive gamer. If you're a competitive gamer and you're like massively into like COD 4, like strategy, tactician, all that good jump, all the loveliness that's fun about online competitive gaming, especially if you came from a sports background, you're not going to find that in this game. I've tried so hard, so many different lobbies, communicate, work my ass off, be constructive. It's just not going to happen in this game. The community is totally recreational when it comes to this game, which is not a bad thing. And just I'm just saying from a competitive, uh, you know, from a competitive outlook coming into this game, even playing like a demolition stuff, nobody plays for the objective. Everybody plays to get kill streaks. That's because, you know, the kill streaks are just fun to get. That's just how this game breaks down. Uh, play game. Uh, you know, this game probably would be really good if they put an MLG playlist, but I'm probably going to be thwarted with a bunch of people hating on me for that, too. Uh, here's COD 6. Watch this. That's what I'm talking about right there. Like, you can be terrible at this game and succeed just by doing something like that. Like, if that kid was playing Halo 3, I would destroy him. You'd put a shot into me, I'd get around the corner and wait for him to turn the corner and get that nade right in his face. This game, it's just first come, first serve. You see the person, you get the shot on him. That's just the story of this game. And so it's all about just keeping yourself out of view and being able to catch them. Simple as that. 
Back to competitive gaming. If this game had an MLG variant in it that eliminated a lot of the kill streaks, or you know, or all all of them, starting with like a UAV, then Predator Missile and Harrier, like having those as default ones in MLG playlist, taking out death streaks, taking out those stupid perks like Commando, uh, Final Stand, uh, getting rid of heartbeat sensors. I, I can go on and on. One at one man army. There's so much stuff in this game that just is completely deterring for somebody that wants to try to play this game competitively. Take all that stuff away, make a nice, well-balanced MLG playlist, and you could have a very solid competitive game. But they won't put an MLG on this. They won't. They won't put a playlist that's that because this game is too recreational. People love the fact that you have so much variety and you can do a bunch of stuff, which is awesome. The only the point I'm just trying to make is that this game is totally recreational. If you take it too seriously, it's just going to piss you off. If you play for strat, if you play for playing the objective, you'll be punished for being the only person that plays objectively. You'll be punished for being the only person running around with the UAV. And so if you guys want that strong competitive gaming experience, go play Battle Company 2. Go play Halo 3. You will love it because you will get that fulfilling sense of being an accomplished team player. You won't get that from this game. Someone's freaking car alarm's going off in my shitty apartment. Just like, for example, right there, like, you know, the shotgun, it, just, it doesn't take any skill. It doesn't take any skill in this game, guys. Anybody can stare down the iron sights of their gun, because the iron sights are so awesome in this game. I put a red dot on it, super easy. That car alarm's going to drive me insane. I hope it's not picking up on my mic. Um, and so your COD 6 crazies are just going to go crazy on me. Listen, this is my other um, disclaimer. If you're moving around with a party, and so if you've got six people you play with regularly, this game could be really fun. But I don't fall under those conditions. I don't have six people that happen to have available time right when I have available time to play this game. Um, because there's not an MLG playlist in this game, you don't have a community that's aware of playing this game for the objective and that teamwork that you know should be underlying any on online game. That's why when you play like a Halo 3 MLG, so many people are massively MLG fans in that type of game that you can play it independently and be teamed up with people that will play MLG team oriented games. Because there's not an MLG playlist in this, you will not get that same experience. The only way you can play this game, final statements here, is if you're partying with a group where you can talk and communicate and really do the objective with a solid group of guys that you know will play objectively. Go and buy it yourself, the community will not support that. Uh, or they put an MLG variant. That's the only two ways I can think of that you could play this game competitively. So, I hope you guys can watch my other first person shooter games, Battle Company 2 and Halo 3. Just give them a shot. Even if you're not fans of them and you hate it, just watch it and just kind of view it from an objective perspective and just see the competitive nature of first person shooters. Don't be so closed minded to one facet of gaming. Also, if you watch my videos, please rate them. It's so frustrating when you see over 200 viewers in one rate. Peace.